Hi again everyone, it's Cherry again. Um, apologies for no uploads recently, but what with the lockdown, everyone's been working from home, it's been an absolute nightmare to try and get anything done. Anyway, we're back on stream now, everyone's back at work. Uh, today's upload will be the um, my, one of my first game series. So this is the first game out in the Andrea Doria, the Tier 6 Italian battleship. Uh, she's very similar to the Julius Caesar, or... Uh, Julio Cesare in as much as same gun layout, slightly better armor layout, slightly worse accuracy, pretty much the same hit points. Uh, she says so she's the tier 6 Italian battleship Andrea Doria. Map is fault line. Matchmaking is super favorable. I mean, you couldn't ask for better at tier 6. I mean, basically top tier with a tier 4 carrier. Um, now, under normal circumstances, uh, if I'm playing anything other than an Italian battleship, I, I've got to play this pretty much the way I play the Julius Caesar. Um, I would normally take a Futa or a Nagato out to the 1 2 line and contest that A cap with the, the destroyer and the two cruisers going over there. Uh, but today we're going to try something slightly different, and that's uh, playing around on the 3 4 line. Uh, the main reason for this is because with the 17.2 kilometer range on the guns and the pretty pitiful um, uh, accuracy on the guns it's uh, well statistically pretty uh, pretty lacking accuracy uh, I think it's probably better to be closer to the enemy ships rather than further away um, that's that one uh, what else do you need to know uh, I'll go through the captain build afterwards it's not a full it's not a full tilt captain um, actually, or is it it's Julius Caesar captain? I think it's a 19 pointer because uh, that was my GC captain. Um, little update on the clan. Um, as people are aware, we've now done the merger back between a chunk of the bad F players have now moved over to bad A, so our numbers are back being healthy again. Our availability for clan battles is such that at times we've had three teams running, so that's better news. Um, certainly better than the situation where we had sort of some actives in F, some actives in A. We've now got pretty much all of the actives in bad A. Uh, seems to be going very well. Um, and I do actually truly believe that a big chunk of the membership are now starting to learn more about the game. Certainly for the um, for the expat F guys, I'm hoping that we're rubbing the bad A are rubbing off on them a little bit. Anyway, so we've got a, a Peter a Piotr Vilecki. Um, Sitting at 17 kilometers away, we'll fire the first salvo, and this is our this is SAP semi armor ism, which is um, supposed to brutalize enemy ships. So that little salvo was um, underwhelming 2700, quite underwhelming in my mind. So basically, we're going to give the AP a try because obviously the SAP hasn't really demolished a broadside Russian battleship the way you would hope. So let's try the armor piercing now. Um, I'm probably going to say something quite controversial here. Um, in subsequent games that I've played with uh, this ship, which aren't many, but there's a couple, um, I have pretty much universally fired armor piercing, and I have to tell you, uh, it's overall better than the Zap. Um, I'm not quite sure what the use model is for the semi armor piercing. Um, can't really see. Uh, people say you get less overpens with the sap, but yes, this is true. But you don't get near as much brutal, absolute storming penetrations with the sap. Not from what I've seen so far. Um, you know, reloaded sap, obviously fast reload. We're going to fire it for attacker with semi armor piercing. Um, which I was quite surprised at because I thought this was going to be AP but it's been a little while since I played this battle so we're going to have a go at the Furutaka Furutaka is just turning, going, going, going almost broadside, drop the salvo and let's see what happens 6008 now I don't know for sure but I personally would think that that salvo with armor piercing would have done a heck of a lot more damage. Personally, I think. Um, but, you know, we're told by. Oh, uh, there's um, the damage taken by the typical Italian, um, let's just say, don't go broadside in the Italian battleship. 
but uh, we lost a lot of good health. We're managing to heal it up. We've like, fired another sap salvo. So that's three sap salvos. And again, we're not doing a lot of damage with the sap. So, we're going to pull away from these, pull away from these battleships uh, that, are, that are pushed in the middle and switch to armor piercing. Try and mitigate much, as much damage as possible. Now, it seems, it seems, or it feels like, angled. This thing's pretty, pretty good at bouncing AP. Um, perfect broadside. That was, I would say, quite lucky with the Piotr Vilecki. So there's your first AP salvo. Shooting into the top of the armor belt, um, in between the armor belt and the superstructure. Five, five guns, 4,000 damage. So there's already a slight improvement over the damage that we've dealt with all 10 guns. Tier 4 carrier coming in. Um, I'm pretty certain the AA on this ship is going to do pretty much what it's supposed to do against Tier 4 carrier planes. Gets a drop off, uh, loses all of two planes. Uh, now he's losing them on the outbound. So AP salvo to the Britann, all 10 guns this time. Perfectly broadside. And we're looking at 16,004. So again, a massive improvement. So I think at this point I decide, forget the sap, let's just go with armor piercing. The funniest thing is, it even looks like the Julius Caesar. Not, I don't think it's got quite the beautiful sort of, you know, Ferrari-esque lines that the GC's got, but it's not far off. So that's another salvo out on the Britannia. We're looking at 8k. Received seven in reply. Got a, got three heals to play around with. Plenty to heal, so not such a major problem. Uh, we still got the Legau and the Piotr Veliki. Veliki. I just call him Peter the Great. Makes my life so much simpler. Team has done a hard push towards the A cap. They've taken the A cap. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ships at the A cap, and they stalled. There's nothing left ahead of them, and they have completely stalled. Um, this is a thing with. It's just a thing with randoms. I don't understand why they do that. I'm not going to call people that have been stupid or anything. And that's AP on a very slightly angled French cruiser. 16 odd thousand damage and my first kill. Peter the, Pete, 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 Pete the Polka is coming round. Um, by the looks of it on the minimap, he's pretty much broadside. In fact, he's perfectly broadside, so we can have all 10. We're going to take a hit because he's Russian, and we're going to put 9,600 into him. So a good exchange of hit points there. And it just seems your battleships, the only way you can play them is to, to mitigate incoming damage and try to trade as little of your hit points for theirs as humanly possible. Right, he's going to crash into that down ship, so he's going to have to either reverse or sit bouncing on it, so a salvo into the superstructure of the leader. And that finishes off Peter with 3,800. So we're at, se we're at second kill, we've got two defended ribbons, we've got two kills, we've got 71,000 damage. Now I'm looking at the minimap and the Britain is still pushing, he has, he has literally just pushed. Have a good look at I'll, I'll have a good look at him before I make any decisions, his guns are pointing perfectly away. So this is a free shot basically, I can go full broadside, AP rounds and just unload on him. Because there's no, there's no way those Britain turrets are coming around. And that'll put another 10k in, drops him down to 13,000. Nose back in again so that we can uh, start angling against any incoming shells from him. Look at the reload, gets to about 10 seconds. Take another look at the Britain, see where his guns are looking. Nope, guns are still looking the other way. Let's get the hull turned around, get the rear turrets on just as the countdown finishes on the reload. All guns on target, another salvo into the Britain. Same thing, turn him back in instantly. So we're going to turn in, keep the nose pointing at him, keep the angle up. Watch the counter.
let the counter get down to about 10 seconds have a quick look at the pretend see if his guns are pointing the right way yep guns are still pointing started no nope, definitely pointing away too late someone's killed him got a pensacola sitting in open water not going not sure where it's going get the ap out uh this is the issue i have with this ship in this game and that's the uh lack of accuracy against cruisers uh, battleships perfect food for this thing uh cruisers if they're wiggling or moving towards you or doing anything that signal really really hits you quite hard so you really need cruisers to be behaving and going broadside or sitting stationary or you need battleships to be sitting broadside or sitting stationary shells out on the pensacola again as you can see much much better 3880 that's got to be the cheapest citadel so that's our third kill and 93,000 damage we're now facing off against a new york and a bayern carrier for some reason is given up so we're looking at the reload on the guns we're looking at the new york new york's turrets are looking straight at us so we need to be a little bit circumspect in how we do this fire start turning hit the brakes start turning in instantly wait for those shells to hit and we're looking at 7003 now we're getting looking to be in a sandwich between a Bayern and a New York Nuremberg is going to prove to be really really annoying here um, just constant constant HE fire there um, that's going to not so much cause problems but just be generally annoying also he's not the most unintelligent of cruiser players because he's very speed and his direction which is the best way of defending against these particular guns on this ship so we're going to start getting punched by the big guns of the Bayern because it does have very good very big guns uh, Nuremberg's decided to go backwards is probably the best idea now we're not going to get a salvo off against that, so we need to start concentrating on the two Bayerns and the New York that are now pushing around the outside. So, first salvo out against the Bayerns, still sticking with AP, haven't seen the point in the sap. Get some bounces. Now, I don't actually for a second think that would have made any difference if I'd have fired sap at that angle. It would have just bounced the same. Uh, maybe if I'd have shot into the superstructure with sap, might have got a bit more damage. But they're saying that if I'd have shot the AP into the superstructure, would have probably got a bit more damage. So we're hitting the brakes, and we're going to start reversing away from the Bayern. Because obviously we don't want to push out past the island with the new, the new York and the other Bayern able to fire into us like that. A little 5k salvo on the Bayern, lost, his, well, lost one of his turrets temporarily. So that should slow his fire down for at least the next 30 seconds or so. And then the secondary start to roll in, and it looked like there for a second that, he, that he'd fired main battery HG because there was a 2233 from the secondary HG round. So, Bion is going to do what Bion players do, which is try and get all the turrets on target. So, he's going to go turn to get a broadside. Probably fired a little early there. Remember, we're now reversing away, just waiting for the hill to come back up. We've got a minute to wait. And we're now taking secondary fire from the Bayern and, well, both the Bayerns. Big hit there. We really need to get to the point where we can really start mitigating some of this damage. So, broadside Bayern, and I've lost my front turret again. A nice 13k salvo into that iron with the front turrets. And he's finished off by the Fuso. 25 seconds for the heal. Problem solved, sir. Thirteen seconds for the heal. I don't know if I can make this one. I can't actually remember much about it. Can't work out. Remember if we actually made the heal or not. Guns are now out of sequence because of the damn. The, the guns are now out of sequence because of the, um, the turret being knocked out. So we've got all the turrets out of sequence. So we're firing one, one, two. 
8,002, puts us up to 140,000 damage on our high calibre. Uh, next turret's coming on stream in two seconds. Get that turret out. Next turret's coming up again. Keep popping these turrets out. Keep popping these turrets out. And we'll see if we can get the rears off or not. Five seconds. One second, two seconds. Right, the last two turrets are out. Puts us on 147, 510 damage. Three kills, two defends, four aircraft shot down because the carrier gave up with it, and a high calibre. A gamer link very, very soon. <coughs> Initial reaction is that it needs to be played fairly aggressively, but you must pick the target, so it's one on one. Uh, any more than one on one, and you're going to struggle with that um, with that broadside. Anyway, let's roll back to the port. I'll run through the captain and equipment build if anybody's interested, and then I'll end up with the results of screens. So now we have the Andrea Doria in my port. Um, very, very pretty ship she is. Uh, a triple turret and a double turret at the front, a double turret and a triple turret at the rear. So she's a 10 gun with um, 320 mil guns, which I can't work it out. My mass is terrible. Um, but, you know, decent sized guns. Uh, secondary armament is lacking. Um, basically, you've got very little chance of doing any actual damage with these things other than setting fires. Uh, so she's not a secondary build. Uh, captain I've got is um, my captain from the Trento. Sounds a bit weird, but um, he's actually the captain from my Julius Caesar that I've just moved over. So captain skills as it stands now with Luigi, Luigi, um, gun feeder for the change from AP to HG as a takes only sort of 15 seconds. Uh, greasy gears for faster turret rotation. Uh, basic survivability to remove uh, some of the flooding and fire burning time by 15%. Uh, the obligatory dead eye. Now this may this will have changed at some point, uh, but obviously dead eye for the obligatory dead eye. Uh, concealment because obviously concealment and dead eye work together. And finally, fire prevention, which reduces the number of fires to three and reduces your chance of being on fire. So that's the captain skills, which, are, to be honest with you, is pretty much a standard battleship captain build. If this was a 21-point captain, I would plump straight for Adrenaline Rush. It's as simple as that. So basically, that would be the 21 build, would be Adrenaline Rush. We've currently got 1, 3, 6, 10, 14. No, hang on. 1, 3, 6, 10, 14, 18, so three points left over if you, if you have 21 points would be the adrenaline rush. Uh, but with the amount of the 1.2 million XP needed to get from 19 to 21, it's probably not going to happen with this particular captain. Uh, equipment wise, pretty basic for a battleship. Uh, first off, uh, auxiliary arm was mod 1 to keep the AA what there is of it. Because um, it is pretty good AA to keep the AA uh, surviving as long as possible. Uh, didn't matter so much in that game, but I think longer term that's the way to go. Uh, second one, damage control system. <laughs> what else is there to put on there? Your damage control or engine protection. You don't really lose the engine that often, so damage control system just reduce the chance of being on fire, reduce the chance of flooding. Uh, aiming system mod one for the extra accuracy. Uh, you do get slightly more range on the secondaries, but don't bother. And finally, uh, damage control system mod 2, which reduces your burn time again. So with the skill and the uh, module, you're looking at 30%. Uh, throw on the flags. So go okay, with signals. Fl throw on your flag. And you yeah, reduce it by another 20%. So basically, you're reducing the burn time from a minute to 30 seconds. Which, you know, if you've got two, you're on fire, you can definitely let it burn. Two, yeah, you can let it burn. Three, you've got to put it out. Uh, but it, at least it means that um, you are burning for a lot less of the time. Other than that, extra heal, sorry, extra hit points on the heal, extra speed, quicker reload on the on the consumables, AA, secondary, and the obligatory commander XP, because, you know, you need extra commander XPs. Uh, flags, CBT flag, obviously, and camo, pick what you like. Um... 
I was running the Type 5, just a standard one, I mean, I suppose you could. Uh, actually, that one's free, I didn't know there was a permit. Oh no, I hate these camos. Oh god, look at the state of that. I mean, really. No, I think it was the immersion that's why I put that on. <coughs> yes, we've probably got more XP, but really, do you need it? Um, because we're going to get the Tier 7 through the mission pack, so you're not going to have to grind it, so what's the point? Um, you know, you've got to ruin the looks of a ship by doing that to it. You know, give me a clue, but that, or that. I mean, even the paid-for permanent camo is nicer. I mean, I suppose something like, no, that's no good. Uh, actually, that's quite nice. No. Quite like that one. That That's actually quite subtle. Uh, green for Italians. Not sure about that. No. Good God, there's some really nasty camo, isn't there? There are some really nasty camouflages. I tell you, one of my favourites is that one. I really do like the Formeritorious Service. I just think it looks... I think ships look so nice in white. And it always harks back to the Great White Fleet for the American Navy. Anyway, that's the ship build. That's the captain build. Um, I won't bore you anymore. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. Uh, I'll put the end screens for the battle now. And wish you a lovely, wonderful, happy day. If you feel like subscribing, then do so. If you like what I do. Although, there will be more of it in future. But, obviously, there's been a bit of a break for the last year. Uh, if you like what I do, subscribe. If you like the video, just hit the like button. And if you want to make any comments on what I could have done different. Or video editing and stuff. Let me know in the comments. Take care. Be nice to each other. And stay safe.